This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today, I am back with a family home in the world of Copperdale, which of course came with the Sims 4 High School Years expansion pack, which is coming out next week, I'm pretty sure now, uh, which is really exciting. Uh, I have posted three videos on the channel already with this pack if you haven't checked them out so far. I was lucky enough to be asked to create three of the lots for this world. However, that is not what we're doing here today. I had enough time to play around and just build one lot for fun. And I decided to build here on this like raised area, which is actually where uh, Ash's household was supposed to originally live before that was changed. Uh, so I decided it'd be fun to build here. And I'm actually building this house for a specific family. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many of you have been around on my channel long enough to have seen some of my Let's Plays. But I was basing this house off of if my sim Amber from my Parenthood Let's Play moved here with her family. So I am uh, decorating this for Amber, her boyfriend Ace, uh, her son Elias, and their daughter because I left off the end of season two of Parenthood with Amber being pregnant and uh, she had a little girl. And I was just thinking it would be a really interesting idea if I decided to play as the kids in Copperdale, uh, if they moved here and we played a little bit with them in high school. I haven't decided if that's just going to be in my own time yet or as a Let's Play or over on Twitch. Uh, it's just a concept I had because somebody had commented it. I think it was on Twitter and I had already been thinking about it a little bit. And so I was like, yes. I love this idea. <laughs> so I decided to build a house for them here in Copperdale if I decided to play with them one way or another. Um, so no announcement yet if I'm doing that on the channel or not, but I figured I would at least build them their house here. And uh, maybe that'll be coming sometime soon. It really depends. But anyway, the outside is coming together now. I love the shape I went for. I wanted to make sure both of the kids had areas they could sneak out from because I'm thinking we'll have some like drama with the kids as they're teenagers. Um, at this time, Elias is a teenager, but their daughter is still a child. Uh, I haven't said a name for her yet because I keep playing around with names. I haven't really decided what I want her to be named yet. Um, so th that's why I just keep saying their daughter. But uh, uh I don't know. I was just really excited to build this. It was a lot of fun. And so right now I'm using some of these like ladder and trellis pieces to have a sneak out point from the daughter's bedroom. And then the front porch in like the balcony out the front is actually out of Elias's bedroom. So there'll be some of those over there as well. So I just wanted there to be a couple of spaces for that to happen. I loved the storyline of that potential uh thing happening in this game. I thought that that was a really cool thing that they added with high school years. So just trying to figure out the fence over here and having a lot of trouble placing it, but I figured it out in the ends and I think it looks really cute. But we're popping inside now to figure out the floor plan. I wanted to make sure this could be a three bedroom house, one for the parents and then a bedroom each for the kids. And uh, it did take a little while to figure out the layout here because I was originally thinking the bedroom for um, Amber and Ace would be on the bottom floor, but it ended up being on the top floor in the end. I just took a little bit of time to figure that out and, you know, get a good shape for like the bathrooms and stuff. The upstairs was a little bit harder to configure, but that's okay. I got there in the end. And of course, since I built this with my super early access, it was like a whole nother version of The Sims 4 in my origin account. Uh, that's why the name is bouncing around the screen, but also that is why this is only base game and the new high school pack. So I will probably update it a little bit, uh, if I decide to do a let's play or post on Twitch about this family, uh, because I did originally have them when the parenthood pack came out. And then I also had 
Amber for a long time live in the city of San Myshuno. So there's a lot to uh, unpack there. But anyway, even if you don't know that family, I figured I'd tell you a little bit about them here. And so you could get a better idea of who these Sims were and why I decorated things the way they are. Uh, because I just think this would be a fun family home to play in anyway. So Amber was a Sim that was born in my game to uh, my two Sims that I started with. Well, I started with three Sims in Parenthood. I had my Sim Bailey and her son Cliff, who she had from a previous marriage. And then Bailey had just recently gotten married to her new husband, Mitchell. And her and Mitchell soon after got pregnant and that was Amber. Amber was always kind of a rambunctious, troublesome child. She was always making a mess. She was a little bit of a rebel. She constantly was like dyeing her hair and running off and doing all sorts of stuff. She uh, <laughs> she was a really fun sim, probably my favorite sim I've ever played as. Uh, she also ended up having a younger brother as well. And then um, when she was off in the city, she decided to, you know, go on a spontaneous trip to Selva Dorada and uh, she came home pregnant and ended up having Elias, who is not her boyfriend's child, but they have since had a little girl together and her and her boyfriend raised both kids like they're their own. And so that is where we are at with Amber. All right, with all of that out of the way, we can move on to talking about the house. I talked over the kitchen a lot, but it's a pretty small kitchen using some of the new tiles from this pack and of course just space game kitchen items as there wasn't a new kitchen set with a high school pack which makes sense. The living room I really like. I combined two of the new sofas that came with this pack because one of them is white with a mint blanket and then the other one was mint. So I liked the combo there and I'm trying to make this a little bit, um, I don't know, what word I want to use here. I guess maybe youthful and a little bit more like dark colors and stuff, not as traditional as you might expect for a family home because I'm basing it off of my Sim Amber and she's always really liked a lot of color as well as a lot of dark colors. So I try and incorporate a lot of like grays and blacks and stuff into this home, uh, but still make it feel like a family home. And uh, yeah, so working on the dining room over here, uh, sizing up one of these fluffy rugs. I think it's so pretty. I'm really glad that we got that in this pack. We have a couple of fluffy rugs in the game, but they are all like rectangular or kind of strange shapes. Well, this is the first time getting a circular one, which is really exciting. And so I was happy about that. And these new chairs are for the boba shop, but the new table here is meant to be for the cafeteria at the high school. But I thought that they worked fine together here. They're a little mismatched, but I liked that about that. <laughs> and then just getting like a hutch in here, some paintings before moving on into the downstairs bathroom. Just have a shower tub combo, sink, toilet, all your basic things. I also have a bathroom upstairs. I can't remember if I show that in the footage or not, uh, but I really love the tile that I used throughout this home. It's a new one that we got with high school years and it's really pretty. It also has like trim pieces if you want it to be more... Um, I don't, I don't know what the word I'd be looking for is. If you want it to have like sections that are sectioned off and have it look a little bit fancier, you have a bunch of different trim pieces on it as well. But I, I like it just as is. I think it works nicely in kitchens and bathrooms or anywhere that you want tile. But anyway, in the entryway here, we had a little nook. So I decided to take that area and turn it into an office space. So your Sims have a computer to use. There's a little side table here and then I just got a painting by the stairs and then this is going to be Amber and Ace's room. I really love the colors and the new items that came with this pack. The beds are amazing. The rugs are amazing. I just had a lot of fun. I didn't use a new rug in this particular room but this is a new bed and I think the dark blues are so pretty. Uh, oh wait I did use a new rug in this room. I just didn't at first. Uh, but also this bed, ugh, I, there was a couple of them that I was trying to decide which one was going to be the swatch for Amber's room, but I was pretty sure I was going to use this particular bed frame. I also wanted to include an easel in here for her, but uh, yeah, this, this bed with the floral pattern on it, but it's all like really dark colors, I just think is so perfect. It's really pretty. And uh, for the most part, the furniture in here is pretty simple. Like there's not a ton of stuff. Everything's kind of matchy matchy. Um, I still feel like this is pretty early on that they've been able to move into this house. They don't have too many things yet. And actually, when I had left off the Let's Play 
before, they had just moved into their first house after living in an apartment for a really long time and they had almost nothing. So I think this is a realistic spot for them to be at now. And uh, this is Elias's room. He was a child when I ended off the series. And so it's been interesting to figure out what his personality would be. I was just playing around with a lot of colors in here and I will be changing some of it because it's way too matchy matchy right now. But I do think this is something that will change through my gameplay based on how this sim develops and what he decides he enjoys. Uh, I also have like the escape windows over there. I do block one of them off, but I make sure that one is still accessible if they, uh, if Elias wanted to sneak out from this space and then just getting some tapestries and some posters in here. I just had a lot of fun decorating these rooms. I think having more posters and just useful items in general is so awesome. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun just in general decorating more children's and teens rooms. Now this is the daughter's room. I don't know much about her yet. So I was just playing around with the different colors, looking at new swatches that we got and trying to figure out it from there. I decided to use this swatch of the bed. I love the purple, pink, blue stripes. And so this room ends up being very like purpley and pink. Uh, so <laughs> it, it's very stereotypical girl, I guess. Uh, that's not really what I was going for though. I was just having fun with the swatches, but I think it ends up being a really cute room and it'll be interesting to see how it changes over time as this child gets older and really comes into their own and figures out what they like and don't like as they grow older. So that's always really interesting to see how it changes because I know when I was a kid, all I wanted was cheetah print and everything. And that's very much not what I want now. <laughs> and that's not what I wanted as a teenager either. So uh, yeah, that's what this room is. Just getting a dresser over here. We have some toys throughout the space, a big dollhouse and plenty of decorations on the walls as well. I like a lot of the new things we got with this pack. That poster in particular is so cute. I really, really like that one. And so that's pretty much it for that bedroom. I'm trying to think what is left. Probably a little bit of stuff outside. Oh, and a pile of clothes. I really like the clutter items that came with this pack. Uh, they just add so much. Yeah, but we don't, we don't really have much outdoor space here. One of the doors had disappeared, so I had to place that back. And then just checking through everything to make sure it's all good. I do end up adding some monkey bars out front, which is kind of goofy. There's not a lot of space for them, but I thought it would be a fun addition. And then just getting some plants in these debug planters. And that should be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone.